<laughs> this is gonna be fucking awesome. <laughs> Tell him, Steve, Dave. Did you hear what Stephen Hawking said? That uh, there is no God. Do you believe a guy who's that smart? Well, his what makes him the authority? How does his he IQ? Know? I'm not saying he's an authority. I'm just. What, I'm just like, is, why are you is, mad at me? Well, no, no, I just like, but you put weight in his words though, the way you say it. Like, like, oh, you should believe this guy the way you said it. Do you? Believe no, that I guy? said, I said he's smart. He's a smart guy. So do you? What is he? What has he done that's so smart though? I don't even know. Is this the guy in the wheelchair? He's yeah. Okay. What has he invented? I don't think he's invented anything. Okay, what he's, is he he's, cured? He's had uh, lots he? of theories that have, have proven, right? Hold on a second. Let's find out what Stephen Hawking's up to. He's no Tesla, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> mm-hmm. They said... Uh, I mean, he is a modern-day genius, right? Somebody said... But yeah, what has he sure. done, though? Somebody said he's um, had several different... Th- I mean, you, that would be like, fuck Einstein. Like, what did Einstein ever do, right? What are you talking about? He created the A-bomb. He, uh, I thought he worked on it. I think he created it, did he? Well, he fucking helped get it off the ground. Has fucking, this guy fucking created a fucking device that could fucking wipe off a country off a map and save the world? Um, yeah, kill everybody and save the world. Thus saving the world? Yeah. Come on, you I know remember, I remember growing up in the fucking uh, Cold War Gross. era. It was so comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, you'd be watching cartoons all You're of a sudden. It's like, beep. Every fucking. day you thank your God that you got to fall. You live in a country with a fucking million bombs. I do? You should. I'm going to hang a picture of a bomb next to my <laughs> closet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see what he did. Let me see his achievements. Early life and education. Do you think it's like I'm like a super smart motherfucker, but I look all fucked up in a wheelchair? He's married though, right? Mm-hmm. 69. Let's Educated see. in Oxford. So you know Central he's smart. to the discovery of the high surface temperature of planet Venus. What? Mm. He, he discovered the temperature on another planet? Was central to the, the research he did. His principal fields of well, research are theoretical then, cosmology and quantum gravity. Mariner. It's like shit that we're too fucking dumb to even know. Yeah. But wait a minute, but there's, what's his note? What's his fucking, what's he, ha- what's his legacy? What's he, what's he, what's his big fucking revelation that's like, wow, this guy isn't. Is okay, a, why is he acclaimed? Is he, uh, yeah. Uh, did he, in, about did he invent the computerized speech thing? No. I think he had like a lot of essays and shit that, <laughs> that, um, <laughs> what did he do? Fucking stupid fucking Stephen Hawking. I'd say he's stupid. I'm just saying, but like, why should I, but why should, why should I believe him about God or anything? Um, because, Where's his proof? There's no God. Okay, here's his religious views. In his early work, he spoke of a God in a metaphorical sense, Wait, such well, as in the brief history of time. Uh, he said he does not believe in a personal God. The question is, the way the universe began, chosen by God for reasons we can't understand, or blah, 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 blah. Uh, ooh, he'd somebody divorced him. Carl Sagan's dead. What do you mean, Carl Sagan? I'm not talking about Carl Sagan. Oh, I thought you said Carl Sagan. What are you talking about? No. Who are you talking about? Um, Who are you talking about again? What's the name of Stephen again? Hawking. Stephen, Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking. Okay. He compared religion and science in 2010, saying there's a fundament- fundamental difference between religion, which is based on authority, as opposed to science, which is based on observation and reason. Science will win because it works. How has he changed the world? How has he changed my world? What does that matter, though? You know, why does he have to change your world to be right? He regarded the concept right about of what? heaven as a I'm, I'm not saying he's right. I'm saying what does it have? Hold on a second. He regarded the concept of heaven as a myth, stating there is no heaven or afterlife, and that such a notion was a fairy story for people afraid of the dark. So, oh, my God. So t- how is he right, though? Give me proof. Give me something that, like, but you can say that. You proof can say positive that. that you're right, then. I'm not. Be, why? Why do you keep saying me? I just brought it up. In fact, I asked you. I'm not saying that. Well, I'm I telling agree with you. Well, here's mm-hmm. my answer. What has he invented that? What has he sip, done that, that, give me, that she gives him the, his words weight? Or I'd be like, wow. If he says, well, it, it just must because be true. we don't know doesn't mean that he didn't do anything. Yeah. Well, you're looking it up, and I have heard nothing yet. But he wrote a fucking he wrote a, a school paper on fucking. No, he <laughs> wrote a bunch of essays um, about. Uh, I mean, in 2009, he won the Presidential Medal of Freedom, which is the highest civilian honor in the United States. So he's obviously done some shit that I can't the, find. For what, he also what he fucking he's a believer for? in aliens. Why don't you give him the fucking? I heard about that too. He was like, "Don't they're going to attack for us? Aliens, and... you might not like what you find." 
Right. He um, he said that they, wow. were, they, they were going to be aggressive. Well, and, every uh, fucking 50s fucking science fiction movie could told, could have told us that too. Fucking. Why are you so mad about Stephen Hawking? I'm fucking – Walt's winning me over to his side on this shit. I'm like, what is this I, asshole? I can't find anything either. Yeah. <laughs> Walt's right again. <laughs> Fuck this guy. <laughs> I'm telling God on him. (laughs) Uh, He's an expert on black holes whose stated intention is to unify quantum physics with Einstein's general theory of relativity, forming a single theory to explain the origin and the end of the universe. Wait a second. Two seconds ago, you had a boner over Einstein because he invented a bomb. He actually, there's fucking, he has some fucking cold, hard, concrete fucking... He was on the Simpsons. Bodies to fucking show for his fucking genius. So does fucking religion, dude. <laughs> Come on, fuck it, you guys. You're offering me nothing. He's just, so he's done nothing. <laughs> he talks about black holes a lot. You know what's going to happen now. People are going to fuck oh, yeah, get yeah. on Twitter. <laughs> hey, stupid assholes. <laughs> um, yes, I, I, don't, I don't look at it no more, so I don't care. He embarked That's on why the I'm formal, able to talk this way now. The formal study of cosmology. I am cosmology not fucking tainted by fucking Twitter anymore. By people's opinions of you? Nope. I know. I spend all my time fuck defending Hawking, you. Fuck Fuck Einstein. <laughs> oh, not Einstein. <laughs> Somebody said that, what's his name, uh, Tesla... Um, Died a virgin. He didn't even have a wife. How is that provable? Exactly. I don't know. Stephen Hawking wrote an essay about it. <laughs> he was just trying to diss other fucking geniuses. I know. Um, <laughs> just because he's had a fucking, he's had been divorced a couple times. Well, I mean, I guess it's a fucking this- genius move right there. You're able to fucking gain, get, get, garner fucking more multiple than one wives. Wife. Yeah, without paying them. Well, you I think mean, he's rich? Like, can you get rich fucking talking about black holes? <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he's a best selling author. Yeah. That history of time, right? The brief Johnny history Holmes of the did. universe. Uh, I don't know. This guy's What'd you say? Johnny Holmes did. <laughs> <laughs> You're on fire over there. <laughs> Is Johnny Holmes um, black? Uh, John Holmes. No, he's a white guy, right? Oh. Yeah, wasn't he... Um, wasn't he... Okay, fuck Stephen Hawking. I'm going to look up John Holmes now. <laughs> Sunday, Jeff. <laughs> Stephen Hawking. Genius or sham? Crap. No. Crippled, Cut that out. Cut that <laughs> out. Cut that out. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, he's definitely re- regarded as a genius. What has he done? Put, I don't know. I don't why? Know. Okay, sit Sunday, down, sit Jeff. Down, sit down first. Why is he gene? Why is he brilliant? What has he done that made you go like, "Holy shit, this guy's brilliant"? Just some of the things that he says. As far as okay, that. I want a quote um, about wormholes. He's talked about wormholes. Wait, you're, about if you're like, holes. like to, as far as um, time travel, that's that's your guy. That's what I said. He's, he talked about aliens. It's, but has, he, no. has he done it? He yet? said aliens are me. When he fucking well, traveled he and traveled, pay, I'm sure if he, he took the time travel, yes, I'll take it back. Everything I said about him. No, well, that's what that's what the use of what you could use a wormhole for is actually for time travel. He believes that there's certain theory of um, to do actually to go in like back in time or whatever or forward in time through wormholes. You can never go backwards. No, I don't know about that. I don't think you go forwards either, me personally. But so he's again, it's all bullshit. It's all speculation. Well, it's all speculation. Everything's all right. speculation. Let's speculate. Thing. Isn't all religion speculation, though? Of course it is. Yeah, I mean, you have no more proof that there's God than that he does that there isn't a God. Um, Do you, I don't know. I think d- a degree you of- see the fucking the, – the, the sky – the, f- the stars, flowers. <laughs> I feel like flowers. I, I feel like I'm talking. What does that got to do with anything? You see, and you're telling me there's not a God. Yeah, I'm you saying. You see the human I'm being. It's entirely possible. You see, you see the beauty that is out there, and you're going to tell me it's all it's all fluke. That's what's. That's why America is in the shitter. Because everybody, because everybody. Yeah, we should be more religious, like the middle, the Middle East. I think. No, 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 no. no. I'm, talk, I'm talking. They about got it all like figured out. Morals and um, mm-hmm. and values. And uh, we are value. That, we are valueless. Right, why do you make all these sweeping generalizations about about people in this country that that Americans have no values? Not I don't. So you don't have to. What's that? Not all of them. But uh, but like what seems to like, rise people. to the top is like is the shit rises, and the good stuff the shit gets rises fucking, gets fucking pushed to the bottom of the fucking rancid barrel of humanity. Of humanity. <laughs> okay, but you're also not overly religious, Walt. Why? why you don't uh, know that though. No, I'm very spiritual. Spiritual, I would give you spiritual, but not religious, certainly. But um, I'm tired of hearing. Can't you be spiritual without believing in God or like a God? What does that mean? Like your like your spirituality doesn't have to like say Wiccan. Don't like Wiccans, aren't they into like? Oh, I don't nature. believe you can cast spells. No. No. Okay. Um, Strike. But <laughs> if you get strike if against if me, reli- no. If a religion oh. believes you can cast spells on people, it's not a real religion. No. 
Okay, but but Catholic, I mean, they're definitely into all sorts of like um Some praying uh uh pray yeah, sure. It's like spell? if you pray no, for something. Talking about like I uh, like you know what I'm talking about. Like Pam, like I'm gonna put him in a bottle and shit type yeah. stuff. Like yeah. I, I got a piece of his fucking follicle here. Now, uh-huh. he's gonna, now he's gonna have a fucking great he- head of hair mm-hmm. if I pray for it to the fucking god of hair. <laughs> Alright. No god of hair. Um <laughs> But uh, I, I guess you could like that kind that's of so, like okay. Voodoo, so that doesn't man. count as a religion. That's voodoo. voodoo. Well, Santeria is the religion that utilizes voodoo, I guess. Uh, so voodoo. No, I mean, Santeria doesn't count either. What's Santeria? That's the religion that they use like voodoo in, where they sacrifice the chickens oh, and they yeah, do no. that kind of shit. No. So you don't believe in zombies? Nope. Sunday Jeff, do you, uh, he's Jewish guy. Yeah, Jewish is that a legitimate, Jewish is a legitimate re- re- religion. Uh huh. Muslim. Legitimate religion. I'm gonna cut out that, and right, just like no, <laughs> and then I'm gonna put in some of your hawking fucking comments. <laughs> Bunch of bullshit. Fuck them and fuck Einstein. <laughs> huh? Wasn't Einstein Jewish? Partial. I think he was partial Jewish. Mm-hmm. Sunday, Jeff. If you uh, if you uh, unfortunately had cancer, right, you're gonna die, and they're like, make a wish. What would your wish be? They don't have cancer. Then I mean, if you knew it was terminal, that you were gonna die. Yeah. Then I guess you would, uh, well, there's curable cancers, aren't there? <laughs> right, but you're not going to be making a wish then. Well, you didn't you're say just that. happy that you're, you don't have the bad kind. You're just like, you know, don't fucking tempt fate by making more wishes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, if it was, if there was, uh, it was like, like inoperable, then you would, I would just basically want to spend as much time, I guess, possibly with your family. Really, all the wishes in the world, it's not really going to matter. So, it doesn't Yeah, really but care. your wish could be like, well, I want to go to, um, Hawaii. You know, yeah, I want to go to Hawaii with the, with the wife and kid. I want to, um. If you have, it depends on the quality of your life there. It right. depends on what stage you're yeah. in, too. If you're in, like, you know, like you look like Stephen Hawking and you walk around and you're <laughs> it in takes a wheelchair. Me I was, I, no, wait a minute. No, I was a guy, doesn't this sound like he's, he, he said worse things about him than I did? And even I was, like, disputing his, yeah, yeah, all his you, credentials. You didn't, you didn't go after his legs. <laughs> <laughs> Well, who cares what that cripple fuck has to yeah, say? Yeah, I never went after his appearance. <laughs> but he wasn't always like that. It's, really? It started, like, happening later on in life. Mm-hmm. Oh, Lou Gehrig's disease, yes. Okay, so fuck Stephen Hawking, there is a god, Walt says. Quinn? You're... Why don't they... What's up? No, go ahead. I don't think you agree, right? You more in aligned with Stephen Hawking, or... Yeah, I don't... I don't really... We've talked about this early on. Do you I... believe everything Stephen Hawking says? I don't... <laughs> My belief in God isn't based on anything well, Stephen Hawking says. Go sit on his lap. <laughs> but really, do you believe everything he says? I don't believe – it has nothing to do with what he says it doesn't say. I mean, if he said today that there is no God, that's a belief I've had for over 15 years now. So, Do you believe in aliens? Uh, I'm sh- almost positive that there would be life somewhere out there. But are there. they aliens? Like, the, like well, zipping by life, our planet? Like, and not in terms of like – like some sort of fucking protozoic amoeba yeah, somewhere. Yeah, I think so. I'm talking about I, I think something just that, law of averages, yeah. I'm not even talking like a slug. I'm no, talking I know about you mean. Like, a, like a humanoid. Yeah, sure. You believe in humanoid aliens? I think statistically speaking, yeah, there's got to be out there. In our lifetime, we'll have contact? No. And in, in, in the earth, will the Earth ever have contact with it? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, if they get out far enough, why not? What about us? Not us. Well, we can't do it? We're not going to live long enough. No, no, I don't mean us. I mean, like, the human race. <laughs> Tell him, Steve Dave. We <laughs> decided not to go to Collingswood and we're gonna, we're gonna do, a cannon, spaceship. do a cannonball into a wormhole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's going on over here? Here's the fucking alien Dennis with a bunch of fucked up space magazines. <laughs> what are you talking about, us? I'm talking about the human race. Oh, you said us. So I thought you meant us, us. Like, in our lifetime, I thought you meant. No, the human race will, uh, we won't make contact. They'll have, have to contact No, I, I mean, if that's what I said. If we get out far enough, if the human race you said gets they its get out tendrils, I meant that meant a future humans, not us. Uh, if the human race gets its tendrils out far enough, why not? But I don't believe it. I believe I don't believe uh, there's an alien life out there. No, in the entire of the universe. Is well, the I don't, in terms of humanoids, I believe there might be like some sort of strange space slug. Yeah, space slugs and like space grass but, and but life on planet Earth, <laughs> space bouncy like castles, space, like space, like uh, space shrubs, you know, like space moss, something that's uh, like a little tree. Yeah, like okay. vegetation somewhere on a planet. Well, I mean, the reason right? that that right. that life evolved on planet Earth is because of conditions, and you don't think these conditions are anywhere else in the in the yeah, universe. Yeah, but I don't think there's like humanoids though. Hmm? It says here, Walt, um, that he's hard pressed to find those who share his perspective. On 
this side of the pond. And this is, yeah, this is I'm talking about America. Uh, talking again? Talking about America, yeah. Well, we were still talking about um, if uh, You're trying to, like a madman to fucking. I know, he must have done something. Fucking- <laughs> I must have done something. I regard the brain as a computer, which will stop working when its components fail. There is no heaven or afterlife for broken down computers. That is a fairy story for people who are afraid of the dark. I mean, I think there's. Uh, he might not be right, but you there's a, there's it's definitely. Like, let's be honest, man. If you're like, oh, there's no God, you're mad. Oh, really? Yeah. He's like, you took my dick away, God. <laughs> Right? What he's like, you remember Carlito's way when he's like, what does he say? The fucking dude in the wheelchair. He's like, look at me, Carlito. I don't remember. I can't hump. No, <laughs> I don't remember. Um, he can hump, though. Can he? No. I know he has a wife. Multiple wives. Oh, he's one of those types, eh? No, not like, like a Mormon? No, no, but I think he's had a wife and divorced her and married another wife, I thought. <laughs> Could you imagine you're the one that gets divorced? <laughs> Hello. Well, what do you? What, I mean, well, I mean, if you, how do you deal with a genius, though? That's Guys, Suzanne. tell me. They just said they like, how uh, how do you deal with a genius, though? Like, what do you talk about? Like, you you can't have like mundane conversations. Who's right? it more annoying to? The genius or the or the spouse of the genius? Like, because the genius is like, oh my god, you're such a fucking dumbass because you don't fucking understand right. something like 99 percent of the people don't understand. And if you're the spouse, you're like, this motherfucker never stops talking about shit that like. Uh, well, you're talking about pure intellectual, like the beautiful mind guy thing. Like, well, I mean, like a, a genius woman might be married to like to like a nice, a genuinely kind person. Like, what would that make a difference? You're not talking about like a dullard. Talking about an average well, intelligence? Well, yeah, but, but a genius, like an average person is a dollar to a genius. Right. <laughs> no, a <laughs> dollar is a dollar to a genius. A fucking <laughs> No, a dollar to a genius. You'd be space grass to a genius. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I would be fun, <laughs> attractive <laughs> space <laughs> grass. So well, you'd shrub. get the, you'd get, you'd, you'd be the only there. You'd be a, you'd be a fucking, like a trophy. <laughs> like a rapidly aging <laughs> window dressing. <laughs> like you had to see this guy ten years ago. Uh, no, but would I, there be pressure on you as I don't, I don't not think the I've, genius? I have, like I got to come with. I, can, I can't come with like we're like. Oh, I went to the grocery store today. Um, yeah, but those aren't the conversations I would have anyway with anybody. You would never talk to anybody like you. I went to the grocery store today and. Um, you can't believe the price of fucking turkey. This it's no. going up. It's going. Through I don't think I've ever had that conversation. <laughs> you telling this to his couch? <laughs> no, genius wife. Oh, okay, I thought you meant now. <laughs> I don't think I'd have that conversation. Why? You've never had a conversation about just mundane things. You're you're that fucking. You're that like overwhelm like just overwhelmingly Brainy. like Brainy interesting Smurf. conversation just comes out of you no matter what. I don't know. You've uh, never had a mundane conversation. But I mean, you're saying all geniuses only have brilliant conversations? They never I, worry about the price of turkey? <laughs> There's something to be said for fun and like, like not I don't think for non intellectual pursuits. Have, have fun in the mundane, though. No, I would have to think they constantly need stimulation. Well, what's a genius? What is the, what's the actual the definition of a genius? Yeah. Hold on, I'll look it up. Well, are you talking like a, like an, like a, oh my God, it's a picture of Walt. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, Rain Man genius? Where like, no. Talking about like an, I'm talking an actual about, legitimate talking genius. About a guy who's like a, retarded genius. a mover and a shaker in his. He's a captain of industry in the genius department. He's like. Uh, he's like Sunday Jeff on Sundays. It's like Einstein. Like Tesla. Yeah, like these guys that invent things that you're just like, how the fuck? Like, who invented the iPad and who did all this stuff and who invented like these machines that these stealth machines and uh, right. you know guys who are like not engineers but like just brains that just work on a level that like. Normal people's brains don't work on. Would you feel the need to like up your game if you're dating a genius? No. Like this oh. person's like, she's like, I can't go out tomorrow. I got to go to my Mensa meeting. Go buy turkey, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a few extra bucks because this turkey's fucking expensive. Oh, so. well, let me tell you that story about turkey. <laughs> <laughs> turkey, huh? <laughs> let me, did you hear? You know how much turkey you could buy with $1,200 in prom gown money? That's a lot of, where are you going? <laughs> You're my little turkey. Yeah. I love turkey. You're my small Your turkey. space grass is calling. <laughs> Get over space here. Space grass. Me, Fache Bella Quinn. Um, 
someone with a master's in uh, neuroscience this past weekend. Really? And uh, she was unbelievably beautiful and dopey as hell. Like so much so that I was like, like go get the turkey. <laughs> no, I mean like she was, she was like, about dopey as I'm hell. telling you, she was just like, like spacey and dopey. What's like, an example? Um, like we had a, there was like a trampoline, right? And, uh, <laughs> what the fuck were you at with a neurosurgeon and a trampoline? We, we paid 50 bucks like, for this kid's party and went to this fucking event. <laughs> no, we, we, we thought it was free it was some, first. It was uh, something with a TV show and we had a, oh, we had okay. a trampoline. And she was like, oh, a trampoline. And like just like went over it and just started jumping on it. And she's like in her like, mid-20s, you know, whatever. And, and was just like – but stuff like that. Like like the trampoline was interesting. Enough. Like if you see a trampoline and you're like – Oh, a trampoline! I'm gonna go tell. It's just she was a space cadet. Like I just have to take my word on it. Like just yeah, when she I was spoke, say her just saying the word trampoline. N- yeah, but it's just the it. way she spoke. She was like, <laughs> oh, like a trampoline, and just got on it like in the middle of conversations. Maybe she started thinking started about like, the physics of it all. And yeah, maybe she was looking at. Well, that's it, like, what I'm saying. Wormhole. Well, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, and she was a master's in neuroscience. She was going for a PhD in in mm-hmm. neuroscience. And I was maybe like, she's maybe like too just, smart, so she like gets distracted. And I she, think like there was a social like. Oh, so like socially, she's like right. She doesn't. I don't. I mean, like, she, right, like Asperger's or anything like that. I, I mean, like, she was just like spacey and like, I'm I, dumb, but I can party. <laughs> <laughs> and I look, and like her, it's just like, I, it, it might be the other way around though, with her, cause she was really, really good looking. Mm-hmm. And it was like, it might be the other way around where I was like, she's so focused or in her own little world she that, wants a dumb teddy that I wouldn't even be able to handle her because I'd be like, she's a dope. I can't talk to this girl. She wants to shoot shit. I'd be like, oh, turkey's so expensive. And both, <laughs> and in her mind, she's thinking about <laughs> fucking introduce her to Walt. <laughs> right. <laughs> so who knows, you know? We should take it. We could take it. We yeah, should take IQ that's tests. That's what we should do. Is, IQ uh, yeah. No, I, I would never want to do that. I would be like, oh my god, it takes. Fuck, I don't want time. to be dumber than I thought. I already think I am. I don't. Oh, want I that. would own mine. Would you? I don't care if it was really low. Like, what if it was like seventy? Fucking, like Walt should get this, dressed by I himself. I got smarts that are fucking more valuable than what a fucking piece of paper will tell me. Oh, what kind? Fucking moolah smarts, right? Sunday, Jeff. Fucking salesman sh- Fucking shit. <laughs> Anybody can get sixty dollars out of his friend for a bouncy party. <laughs> There's a level right of there. genius there. <laughs> yeah, a party put you into the fucking. Like, even if like, what's a low IQ? What's considered like? Hold on, I think under hundred. Under even if I got under hundred, I'd be like, that's awesome. I I, I would fucking be proud <laughs> that's of that. That's awesome. Because <laughs> I look at look at all I've achieved with that low IQ. Mm-hmm. I, I took one years ago. And I don't remember what it was. Well, I'm some sure people don't. go to college and stuff could be. You I know, think I have it. Book smart. Really? And, I think and, I have but it. But they're like general sense, like general knowledge. They could be out the window. They just they might not know what's going on. For like common sense, right? There's I know some people like, that are like that. They might not know like. So do I. How much? Don't buy into it, Sunday Jeff. He's trying to make fun of me. <laughs> I was looking at him. <laughs> I was thinking of our. I was thinking our leader of Pucknuts. <laughs> I really a genius. He's like genius level with computers. Oh, I thought you were saying he's retarded. That's why I thought you were talking about me. Well, um, you're, what, you're the leader of fucking puck nuts and tell him Steve Day. No, Jesus no, no. I didn't, I didn't hear you say puck nuts. <laughs> okay. 70 is borderline, I guess, retarded is what this means. That's less than one person out of a hundred thousand. 85 is lower normal. 100 is upper normal. 115 is bright. 130 is gifted. And then you got a couple. Well, this is how they used to describe them. Not even that long ago. 25 is an idiot. 40 to 54 is an imbecile. <laughs> 55 to 70 is a moron, and 85 is dull What's normal. the difference between a moron and an imbecile? Who, who, who actually, like... <laughs> One percentage point. <laughs> I know, but, like, who, like what's the definition Morons of Moron's smarter than an imbecile. I hate to be on that cusp either way. <laughs> yeah. Did you take your SATs? Yeah, I did really well on them. Did you? Yeah. What did you get? I got uh, 1,100. 1,130 is what I got. I got almost perfect on it. Really? Yeah. And what are we dealing with a genius here? Yeah, I did really mm-hmm. well on them. I'm a genius of turkey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Steve Dave. 